Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, December the 6th, 2019, and this is episode 3173. Welcome to Morning Manna and the end of another week. Today's episode is titled, Word Up. Stay tuned. Word up. So in today's episode, I'm going to share with you a really sweet and precious story that I had last night on an Uber ride with a young mother and her two precious daughters. Have you ever heard that phrase, word up? If you look it up in the Urban Dictionary online, it's um, basically when you say word up, you say, I comprehend what you're saying and verify that your statement is true, my good brother. (laughs) That's exactly what it says. Let me read that again. Word up. I comprehend what you're saying and verify that your statement is true, my good brother. So let me tell you about this ride. I picked up a young mother and her two sweet daughters at a gymnastics uh, location here in the city of which I live. And uh, I had given them a ride to the gymnastics center before, and they're really sweet folks. Um, the mother is from uh, Nigeria. And um, when I picked them up, it was it was nighttime. It was dark. And they got in the car, and as we were leaving to bring them home, the youngest daughter, I would say probably maybe like third or fourth grade, started speaking. And I listened to what she was saying, and she was reading the Word of God. She was reading from the Bible, and she was reading, I believe, from one of the Psalms. And I just listened for a while as I was driving down the highway and here are these three precious souls in the back seat of my Kia soul, no pun intended. And this little girl was reading God's word, and I just let it wash over me. And I waited for the right moment, and when there was a pause, to say, Can I just say something? And the mom says, Absolutely. And my response was, Amen. And what a great reader you are. And then they began to talk about, I saw she was reading off of her phone. And I said, well, I I have the privilege of serving uh, with the church online team at Life Church, the church that developed the YouVersion Bible app. The mom said, that's what we use. We love that app. And we love that they give it away free. So here's... (laughs) Here's a family and the daughter in the back seat of my car reading from God's Word on the YouVersion Bible app. Over 400 million installs of the YouVersion Bible app. It's incredible. She hadn't heard anything about the Bible app for kids. And so as I pulled into her driveway to drop them off, I showed her the Bible app for kids. And she said as soon as they got inside, they were going to download and install it. Word up. I was blessed by hearing the word of God from a young lady in the back seat of my car reading from the YouVersion Bible app. I want to tell you something. We need the strength. We need the encouragement. We need the rebuke. We need God's word. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of God abides forever. There are so many powerful verses of scripture in the Bible about the value of the word. But the one that just speaks to me so much is Psalm 119. It's the longest chapter in the Bible. And in every verse of Psalm 119, there is a reference to God's word. Listen to some of it. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. That's the word. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies. That's the word. Who seek him with a whole heart. They also do not iniquity. They walk in his ways. His ways. That's the word. 
You have commanded us to keep your precepts diligently. His precepts, that's the word. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep your statutes. Statutes, that's the word. Then I would not be ashamed when I look into all your commandments. The word. I will praise you with uprightness of heart when I learn your righteous judgments. Where do you learn those from? It's the word. I will keep your statutes. Oh, do not forsake me utterly. The word. And then just two more verses. The next two verses. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. With my whole heart I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. So, word up. Spend some time in his word today. Be blessed, be encouraged, be strengthened by his word. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for protecting and preserving your word. Thank you for loving us enough that you left us with your word. And I pray today, Father, that there would be a conversation in our heart and spirit from your word as you speak to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Have a great weekend. Until next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Thank you.